Hello everyone, I'm back again. So in the previous video, we just look up the, the first method for the, in the swap surface that is explicit type. So in this video, we will uh, see the next method that is the line type. So here profile type will be line and we will use this option to limit limit and middle with reference surface, with reference curve, with tangency surface, with graph direction and with two tangency surfaces. So these are total seven uh, types available. So we will discuss each one one by one. So first one is the toe limit. So for two limit we need one guide curve and two guide curve. So let's select this plane and we will create the guide curve. Suppose I just draw this line. This is my guide curve one. Again I'm selecting the plane. Again, I'm creating the line. Okay, these two lines are just drawn. Now click on the uh, profile type line, and we have to select the first option that is the two limit. So just select the two limit, uh, select the first guide curve, and select the second guide curve. And now click on the preview. So uh, as you can see, that uh, a surface is created with using this guide curve one and guide curve two. So uh, let's create, uh, edit this line. Uh, we will create this line from, uh, okay. Make it as, as it is. And for this one, we will do some changes. We'll create this line, uh, bigger, something bigger. So now bigger, you can see that uh, this is drawn over here. Let's figure it more. I hope now it is clear. Okay. So here uh, these two guy curves are selected, and that relimiter portion is the uh, same default which we discussed in this explicit type. And now uh, we are having length one and length two option. Length one option is 20 mm. We can see that 20 mm that is the guide curve one. Okay, so it means it is crossing the limit of guide curve 1 by 20 mm. Now, line 2 is 0 mm, means it is up to the limit. Let's see if we are, uh, I will uh, set this limit to 10 mm. Now, you can see that it is moved to 10 mm over. You can change it to minus 20 also. Okay, so this is the way we can decide. Now, here we are having the second option that is the sec second curve as middle curve. Okay, if we select, if we select this option, so what happened, uh, just click on this one and click on the preview, now you can see the case is the guide curve 1, this is guide curve 2, now this guide curve 2 is acting as a middle curve, okay, this is the second type, you can see when I am selecting this one, uh, this is the sub type which change automatically limit and middle, okay, while unchecking it will goes to automatically to a limit, okay, means and the two limits, we can create the two, lim uh, two limits of this lines. Uh, we can define outside the two limit or inside the limit. Okay, so this is the first option here. Just click and OK. Now I'm going to delete this one. Uh, let's move to the second option, which is having the limit and middle. So now limit and middle, the same option is that uh, instead of the length is not available here because uh, limit and middle is here and now guide curve 1 and guide curve 2 okay so now this guide curve 2 work is, will work as a middle curve for this uh, surface i can see here or you can select this is the guide curve also and this is the guide curve 2 also click on the preview now this time this guide curve 2 is working as a middle curve okay so uh, this is the, uh, the second option limit and middle and uh, uh, this one smooth sweeping we and this is the same option and uh, twisted area management this this is we already discussed yesterday so now uh, we will see the next option that is a reference surface so uh, we will see the reference now i'm selecting this plane and creating a sketch over here and i'm creating a three point arc over this plane like this will be created the workbench. Now, uh, the my, uh, we are discussing about with uh, the first tree already discussed. So, with reference surface, with reference surface, I selected the guide curve one, 
and reference surface. Uh, for reference surface, I am selecting this plane X Y plane. Okay, just click on the preview. So as you can see that uh, the length is 20 mm and it is skated over here. Then we can decide also 20 mm. So the both side you can create it as a 20 mm. Let's say if I am defining the angle as 15 degree or 5 degree. Change this line to zero. Click on the view. Fifteen. So as you can see that it is inclined, and as you can see that here angular sector that is of uh, it is having four possibilities. That is one one by four. So this is the first one. Uh, let's click on the next one. View. This is the second possibility. Third one. Uh, this is the third possibility. And this is the fourth possibility. So in this way we can create the uh, with reference surface. Let's see the what is the next one. The next one is that with reference point. So I'm going to delete this one. No, we need this one. Okay. So face will delete. Oh, so letting this plane sketching over here, and I'm going to create a three point arc. This one, I still creating the dimension for this one 55. Okay, that is okay. Now, uh, we need to define the with reference curve. So, for reference curve, we need one guide curve and one reference curve. So, guide curve is already created. Now, I'm going to create the reference curve. Selecting this plane and uh, creating offset of around okay, here. Now, selecting that plane, sketching over here. And we are going to create a line. So uh, just click on this one. We have select the guide curve and select the reference curve. Click on the preview. Uh, either length one, uh, make it a zero, and select the length two as eighty. Click on the preview. So uh, you can see here that is created. Uh, Make it a 20. So this is the uh, with reference curve. Now you can define the angle also. Like suppose I'm defining as a 15 degree angle. So 15 degree angle, the surface is created like this now. Okay. So after creating the uh, angle, you can see that uh, uh, again it is having angular sector. That is the four possibilities. The first, this is the first one. Click on this one. This is the second one. And uh, again, click this one. And uh, this is the third one. You can click and you can create the fourth one. So uh, by using this one, we can create the four possibilities with reference curve. Let's click OK. Next, we are going to discuss uh, tangency surface. So for tangency surface, let me delete this one and uh, this pane also. So this uh, curve, I'm going to extrude this one. It is 100 and mirror exchange. Okay. Now selecting this plane, sketching over here. And I'm going to create a line like this one. This is the my profile. So now click on this one and with reference with tangency surface. So here we need to select the guide curve and then tangency surface. Okay. So uh, just click on the preview. So you can see. Again, uh, there is a two possibilities, this one and this one. Also, uh, the option will be available here: uh, trim with tangency surface. Okay, trim with tangency surface. If you click this one, uh, the rash portion will be trimmed, and it will be connected from here to here. Let's see. This is a, my first case, and this is my second case. Okay, I'm taking my first case, and I'm also using a trim with tangency surface. Click on the preview. Now you can see that portion will be trimmed. So some cells in position use keep uh, portion and saying. So now we can see that uh, by using this one, that surface is created. I hope it is clear. Now we are having the next two option that is a uh, with draft direction and with two tangency surface. Let's see. Now I'm selecting this plane and creating a sketch over here. So now I'm making a slot over here. Understand? that is okay just exit the workbench 
so uh, what this one is with trough direction so with trough direction we need one guide curve and for trough direction let's see uh, the axis we need the z axis so what we will do we right click over here and z component click on the preview now uh, this one is uh, 20 or change it to 100 click on the preview Okay, and uh, we can give the angle also make it to 15 degree let's click on the split okay so this is the draft direction you can change it uh, next one i think the angle is greater than so you can change this angle to 5 degree yes 5 degree is possible now the third one this is a four possibility okay i'm going to the first one here yeah. Okay, let's change it to 15 degree angle. So uh, now we are having the two of op three options that is the wholly defined. We can define uh, completely uh, and complete angle. That G1 constant means every angle will be constant over here. That is a 15 degree. Now we have the location values means at, at every point of the curve we can create define the angle. Let's see the one. Select I'm selecting this point. And here I'm going to define as a 45 degree angle. Now I'm going to select this point, and here I'm going to define as 30 degree angle. Again, I'm selecting this point here. Uh, this point is selected or not? No. Uh, let's make it to 15 degree and this point uh, make it to 20 degree let's see let's it or not yes uh, but this one is to 30 let's click on this preview so uh, you can see over here that at every point the angle is different so you can create like this one also that uh, uh, if we want the draft direction at every point different in different different direction and g1 constant that 15 degree angle is applied to all now we are having the length type as as we already did I have the option like uh, extrude up to pin up to nash to all something like this option the first one is that from curve so from curve as you can see that length one is uh, great means you can't define the length one value you can define only the length two value suppose you can't define the 50 degree the same option is applied over length two. then we have the next one this is the standard one standard one we can define at every uh, at every point at every point not uh, we can define the length value then the third one we have from up to from up to means if there is any plane we can define suppose select this one and I'm going to right click and create plane uh, this one and here offset I'm taking here like this one just click ok so now for this up to this plane your part will be created same like with this is the uh, from HTML and we are having along surface along surface you can create along, uh, according to the along surface position so this is a, your uh, draft direction you can create like this one now next one is we are going to define the width two tangency surface now we're going to select this plane and creating a sketch over here we need to download to this so i'm creating a three point arc checking this one let's say i'm making 35 Exiting again, I'm selecting this plane, creating a sketch. I'm creating that arc, well, uh, creating this one as 55. Now I'm creating it extrude surface, making it to 100 and mirror exchange. Okay, 
same way get on this one and uh, exchange and hundred okay. so this one is created one is bigger one is smaller okay now uh, I'm going to select this plane and creating a reference plane over here uh, at this distance okay. now select this plane sketch so up here now we are creating this line just click on the sleep we are having the fit to tangency surface option here we select the spine and we need to select the first tangency surface and then second tangency surface click on the preview so this way we can create the surface now uh, the same option is available trim with first tangency trim with second tangency if you want to trim with this portion you can use the trim first tangency if you want to trim this portion then you can use the second tangency if you want both you can click both option check ok let's say I am just checking this portion first one and uh, click on the preview and ok now you can see over here this portion is trimmed and this is not trimmed so in this way uh, we can create this one with two present surface now here uh, we have completed all the seven types uh, in line profile now we will discuss about the circle profile in circle profile we are having three and total seven types again so okay so we will discuss